Adam and Eve had two sons, Cain and Abel. Abel grew up and became a shepherd, and Cain worked the ground like a farmer to grow crops. One day, Cain gave God an offering of some of the produce he grew. Abel gave God some of the firstborn of his flock. God accepted Abel's offering, but he did not accept Cain's offering. Cain was furious. Why are you so angry? God asked. If you do what is right, won't you be accepted? God warned Cain that sin was crouching at the door. Sin wants to control you, God said, but you must control it. Then Cain invited Abel to go out into the field. While they were in the field, Cain killed his brother. Then God asked Cain, where is your brother Abel? I don't know, said Cain. Is it my job to look after him? But God knew what had happened. He said to Cain, what have you done? God punished Cain. God told Cain that if he tried to work the ground, nothing would grow for him. God said Cain would spend the rest of his life wandering the earth. He would not have a home or anywhere to rest. This punishment is, is too much, Cain said. You are sending me away from this land and away from you. If I have to wander the earth, whoever finds me will, will kill me. So God put a mark on Cain to protect him so that whoever found him would not kill him. Then Cain left the land and went to live in Nod, a land to the east of Eden. He had a wife and a family, but they did not follow God. God gave Adam and Eve another son, Seth. Adam and Eve's family grew. Seth grew up and had a family too. Around this time, Adam's descendants in Seth's family began to call on the name of the Lord. Adam and Eve's sin and its consequences spread to all of their descendants. But God did not forget his promise to send a rescuer. At just the right time, God would send his son to save sinners. <laughs>